Alright, so we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to do this by scratch. Uh, I'm trying to remember the leveling order. But oh, whatever. I think I think we start with Bard. You know, people like Bard, Dragonborn. Wait a second. What what stats do I need? I need Dex and Charisma. I need Dex and Charisma as my main stats. Stats I don't need are Strength. But I think Dry Elf is probably the best for this. This is to test out the build. I'm trying to make the best of the build. The, the and and so this is the, my first tip. This is my first tip. Um, how do you uh, play a a build? How do you theorycraft a build? Very very important. So um, the way that I theorycraft builds is that I start with the gimmick. My gimmick that I'm currently saying that I'm going to be using. I am saying okay great. You know I'm going to be playing a uh, like a, uh, a snowball build. My main item is going to be the snowball. The only item I'm going to use is the returning snowball. Cool. So this is the gimmick I have in mind. Now I maximize every other aspect of this build. Like I'm not saying like, oh, I'm going to use only the snowball, and I'm only going to play cleric uh, and favorite soul. It's going to be a 10 cleric, 10 favorite soul, and I'm also going to be a dragonborn, and I'm also not going to put any points in charisma. And it's like, you have to have like an idea, right? So the idea is the snowball. That is my one limitation. Everything else I'm min-maxing the hell out of, so I can make it a good character. Good as hell character. This character is basically the same as the other one I had. Um, extra two points in intelligence, sure. I don't need strength for anything. Um, so, But the 18 dexterity and charisma is important. Charisma will be the main stat for damage, and dexterity will be the main stat for uh, not damage. I just need it. I need that high of a charisma. All right, so playing as a bard. Uh, perform is important. Tumble. Use magic device, tumble. Hmm. Let me see. I don't think I need anything else. Spellcraft, sure. Swim, very important. I have jump. Jump's an option. Jump. We're gonna jump. Jump is good. Jump is good. Okay. All right. So playing as a throwing type character, there are a couple of feats I want to make sure I do take for the throwing build. Uh, so I want to make sure I take point blank shot, a hundred percent of the time. I also want to be taking. I want point blank shot. I want. A rapid shot, which is not on this list because my base attack bonus is not high enough, and I want quick draw. Because I can't take either of those other feats, we're going to take point blank shot. Uh, Expeditious retreat? That sounds fine. Am. Alright, so I'm going to make a character, white hair, perfect, and it's called the snow build. Neutral good, does alignment matter? Alignment, no. Wait. Alignment doesn't matter. Snow build. Snow build. You guys might be like, bah, snowball. What are you, stream time, crazy. Uh. Uh. Oh my god, don't do this to me. Oh my god. Oh, there's a string table error I gotta deal with. Sorry, I typed in the wrong thing and then I got string table aired. Hmm. Come on, snow build. Snow build the bard. I actually could have reincarnated one of my characters here, but I just didn't feel like doing that. If you if you mistype your layout command when you're trying to set up your layout, or like do a preset like I just did. Um let's start at level four real quick. I don't know why I didn't just start at level seven. Anyway. There's a bard. Uh, points in here. This be the most boring part of testing out any build, especially if you're using Lemania, which is why usually I don't. I usually just like to play it. Is I just absolutely despise the re-leveling process. Execute doors is a good feat or a good spell. Actually, instead of execute doors, remove fear is pretty good. Probably take Master's Touch. Um, specialist Bard. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, the, the the goal behind this build is to play with the snowball. Now you might be wondering yourself, okay, Stream Time, why are you taking Bard? There's a couple of reasons for why I'm taking Bard. Uh, the biggest reason is point blank shot. I want quick draw. I have to take a lot of feats. So quick draw, precise shot, that sort of thing. Precise shot's very very good. Um, rapid shot's very very good. Quick draw is very very good. Quick draw lets you throw thrown weapons faster, which is why we're going to be taking it. It also lets you, uh, ooh, no merfolks, not master touch. Uh, quick draw also lets you, um, change weapons 
faster, which is good. I need to make sure I have a base 19 dexterity, so I'm going to put my dexterity up right here. Um, 19 dexterity is important for this character. Oh, wait, I just realized. What am I doing? I'm on Lemania! So I should have turbine points. So I'm going to just go Supreme and buy Supreme Tomes, because I'm on, I'm on Lemania. I have infinity turbine points. There we go. Plus seven Tomes! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Give me that. Give me your plus seven tomes. There we go. Because realistically, if I'm, I could test out this build with no stats, but if I'm going to be playing this character, uh, which means I didn't actually need to have my dexterity that high, that's not the point. Um, here we go. Realistically, if I'm going to be playing this character, I would be playing it on like, my main character as a build. But I, don't know, I just want to see how it would perform. Um, so I don't need to put up my dexterity at all, so I can just go straight into charisma for this. Do do. Dataronis. I don't have an extra point. Oh, I didn't put a point to jump because I'm bad at this game. Uh, Blur is a pretty good spell. Oh, I got more spells. Oh, good. Rage? Rage seems fine. I have some action points. Blah, blah, blah. That's fine. All right. So I just basically, I need to make sure I have the right stats. So I think... Hard gear. I think I I'm trying to think of the with the leveling path. Uh, you get 75% of your level as a bard. So if I'm if I'm eight bard, I have a six base attack bonus. Do I think is enough? I'm not sure how much base attack bonus you need for improved precise shot. I'm not sure. Oh man, I didn't even talk to that guy to get my items. So I guess it doesn't matter. I'm only using the snowball anyway. Ooh. Should we pick up our nice little expeditious retreat spell, which is great for in town when you don't have ship buffs? You're also gonna notice attended performance of the Degenev brothers. The Degenev brothers is a brand new thing of sorcery and specialty. This is related to the all new quests that I have not done yet. Maybe we can try them out. I mean, they're only level 10, so I should be able to do them on my snowball build, right? That's the goal. If you've never played on Lemania, right in the middle of town, there's this big door that doesn't exist in the normal build of the game. You click it, and it brings you into the test dojo. The test dojo is a place where you can test out and all your build and change everything. The most important thing when you go to the test dojo, pick not the first test dojo, so you load to a different one, so there's slightly less lag for you and everybody else, which is great. And then, hey, look, it's calligraphy. A bunch of other people. Now that I'm in the test dojo, I'm going to quickly level up my character to level 15, so I can take him at... Hey, Kobold. Just chilling here. I'll level up my character just so we can get started with the actual meat of this stuff. Um... If you've never been in here, it's actually kind of neat. You've got like all the trainers are kind of lined up along these rooms here. You got the trainers here. You got the trainer stuff here. You got dragonborns are pretty much everywhere. Dragonborn, that's just a human. I don't know why anybody would play a human in here, but that's not the point. Um, hey, what's going on, Janara? There we go. Just get maximum heroic XP. That seems pretty good. Um, gonna do some quick level ups here. Oh my god, I gotta change this. There we go, all caps. Did I shot base attack bonus 11. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So I wouldn't be able to take that one right away. But we'll get pretty close. Um, improved precise shot is an extremely important feat for this build because it allows you to hit multiple targets. It's effective like the AoE of ranged builds. You can't take cleave on a ranged build, but improved precise shot's basically like cleave. Oh man. So it is pretty good. So it's uh, what's a good feat here? Our invisibility, that's pretty good. Finance this whole bard, blah blah blah, I don't really get anything important. Great. Oh, I get a feat though. So I took precise shot, right? I didn't. So I need precise shot and rapid shot. I'm going to take quicken spell because I think quicken spell is just really, really good. So we'll take quicken spell right now. Because I need to spend something on, I need my fighter feats, something to spend on them. So, because I'm going to be taking two levels of fighter for this build, just because this build is very feat intensive, I need a lot of feet. Like, my character has two feet, um, because they're, they're drow, they just get two feet. But uh, I need to make sure I have more feats. Um, Thunderburst could be okay. Useful in, like, small situations. Uh, we're going to take, I think I'm going to take Haste, which is just really good. Uh, actually, no, we'll take Good Hope for now. Probably Cure Serious. I'm only going to be taking eight levels of Bard right now, so. 
Dude, more charisma. You might be thinking, Shrimp Tom, I don't understand what... Okay, so you're just playing as a pure bard with two levels of fighter? No, 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 friends. We're playing a snowball build. We're not playing a bard. We're not playing a bard. We're playing a snowball build. So, what does a snowball build entirely entail? Um, a couple things, actually. Um, oh, actually, yeah. I can take those feats later. Sorcerer? Like, what if I multi-class into sorcerer? Is that a good idea? Guys, is it a good idea to multi-class as a sorcerer? I'm just wondering. Is that is that a good idea? Because I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm going to do it right now. Let's just multi-class as a sorcerer. And I even get a brand new feat. Oh, I'm going to keep saying the word feat, because I get lots of them. I think we're going to take a uh, precise shot right now. That's just a good feat. I get two spells as a sorcerer. Uh, we're going to take Night Shield. Really good spell. Uh, and then we're going to be taking Tumble? Sleep? Oh man, that's a great question. I think Night Shield's pretty good, for sure. Probably take Night Shield, maybe Shield as well, just because it's also a good feat. Night Shield and Shield? Oh man. Actually, we'll take, uh, we'll take Nyax Gold Ray, why not? That sounds fun. Ooh, I'd like to advance to the next level as Sorcerer. Oh my god, is he playing a multi-class Sorcerer Bard? Oh my god. This guy's crazy, everybody. What's he doing? Look at this. Look at this madness. He's just like, like he doesn't even care. Like he's he's not listening to Twitch chat. He's just just following his dreams. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes, it does seem relatively obscure, but trust me, it's it's a good build. I have I have ideas in my head. They're not good ideas. I don't generally have good ideas. Um, so please don't please don't think I have a good idea going on right here. It's like it's like oh, Stream Time's got this revolutionary build. Don't try this build at home. Um, Make, ask a parent always if you need help with your builds. Fourth level sorcerer. My base stack bonus will be eight, so I should be able to take improved critical throne, which is what I'm going to take right now. Blur? Yeah, blur seems pretty good. Cool. We'll take blur. Uh, don't I already have blur from a bard? I do have blur. Hmm. It's a good sorcerer spell that I don't have. Knock? That's not a good spell. It's kind of a good spell. Yeah, we'll take Knock. That seems fine. Knock is cool. Take Obscuring Mist. Oh, it's too obvious, man. It's too obvious. If I'm playing the Obscure build, I can't just take Obscuring Mist. Too obvious. You gotta be subtle. You know, like a like a bull in a china shop. Just subtle. In fact, I'm gonna take Snowball Swarm just because. I just feel like it. And now finally, we gotta take two levels of Fighter. Yes, I would like to multi-class as a Fighter. Me some jump, some swim. That's it. Just jump and swim, eh? Yeah, more swim is better. More, more swim, more better. I get a class feat, which means I get because I am playing as a fighter. So I'm gonna make sure I am taking a uh, rapid shot, so I can throw my weapon even faster than normal. And I get to level up as fighter again, and I get another bonus feat, which I'm gonna be spending right here. Oh, and I get an actual feat too. Cool. Um. Improved Shield Bash. Yeah, I don't want that. I can't use Many Shot, which is unfortunate. I can't. I don't think I can get Improved Precise Shot yet, eh? Yeah, my base attack bonus, I think I'm like one point off on base attack bonus. So I have to wait quite a while before I get Improved Precise Shot. Um, which really sucks, actually. That's fine, I can take Precision, though. I'm going to take Precision, and I'm also going to be taking Maximize. Oh, Maximize. Alright. So... Now I'm playing as a uh, Bard 8, Sorcerer 5, Fighter 2. So we need Snowball Swarm. That's really important. So now we're going to go get the Snowball so I can have it in my hand. Just so I can show you guys the power of the Snowball. I've got 173 life, 835 uh, hit point, or spell points. Amazing build so far. You know, pat on the back all around. I make sure to equip the Snowball, and basically the build is done. So now that I have the Snowball, uh, the character is done. This is, these are my stats. Uh, I don't have any items... Uh, or I didn't spend any of my enhancement points, but that's fine. I have all the stats. Now, something that's interesting about the snowball that some of you may not know, this weapon does not throw like a thrown weapon. It arcs. When you throw it, it actually arcs. So if I target right here, you can see where the targeting reticle is going. The snowball is not going to hit that location. The snowball actually does this funny little arc. Um, I don't know why it does a funny little arc, and you can kind of really see the detail of the arc right there. 
I don't understand it. But it's interesting. It's a neat item. It interacts like no other item in the entire game. So I'm excited that it has this arc. There's also a new item, right, a new guy right here in Lemania, if you haven't played on Lemania yet. Uh, this is dude right here, the captain. He gives out guild buffs and stuff. Talk to him, he's got cool ass sunglasses. He's got his, he's got his mohawk going on. You talk to him, he's hey there, what you need? Give me the guild buffs. And bam, you got guild buffs. All of a sudden my character's like a superhero. Got plus two to all my stats. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and change my UI to a the info blue. Oh, this just looks so much cleaner. All right. So now the real meat of it. I'm sure as many of you could figure out, this is where the magic happens. Uh, Spellsinger, that's a maybe. I don't know if I'll use Spellsinger. But I know for sure I need Water Savant. You're like, what? Strimtomp Water Savant? That's correct. So the big focus on this character is being a Water Savant. Water Savant's really important because, uh, and so is Swashbuckling. So Swashbuckling, we're going to take, in the Swashbuckling tree, we're going to take Confidence. Um, I don't need Blow by Blow. Um... Oh wait, do I? Yeah, actually this isn't that bad. Blow by blow with uh, critical threat range and extra sonic damage. That's kind of cool. Um, there's extra bard songs, which I definitely don't need. There's insults, which I don't need, and this, and limber up. So, what is this, like, it's an attack, it costs, it doesn't cost anything. So it's just a, it's just a sick attack, so we'll t put three points in here. Th extra critical threat range, sonic damage, and we'll take an extra point of dodge here. Swashbuckling is essentially the bread and butter of this. It ups the the, dam the critical threat range of darts by two, and then multiply by one, turning this into, without anything else, a 16 to 20 threat range with a uh, times three. So pretty cool, not including my improved critical, which I do have now. Um, I don't want sword dance. I do want to take action boost double shot. Action boost double shot is very good. So I've got my 12 points here. I'm going to take uncanny dodge. I can't take different tack. Oh, you can only use, take different tack if you have single weapon fighting? What? Oh, man, I didn't know that. This is why you play, play test builds on Lemania. Oh, my God. I did not know that's how that worked. My brain hurts. Also, you can see down here, racial. Oopsie, so I don't need charisma for this build now. Do I need strength? Wait, so the snowball build is supposed to be strength based? Because I can't use different attack unless I take single weapon fighting? Oh, it's only while single weapon fighting. Crap. Uh. So how do I use my dexterity to hit and damn it? Oh, oh, oh god, I'm bad at this. So then my snowball does like no damage? Because it scales off my strength and nothing else. Hmm. See, okay, so before I screwed this up and made this entirely wrong, the basis behind this build was that the... Okay, oh god. Splash three, three monk splash for dex hit and damage, but you can't be centered while using a dart, which is the problem. Um, so the the original goal here, okay, this is the dumbest thing ever. So the original goal was that I would take resident arms is fine. I would have the open open hand dashing scoundrel for the extra damage, and then I would take wind at my back for the extra damage here, and uh, battering barrage and what have you. So this the idea behind this build was I was going to use charisma to hit and damage with the or to damage with the snowball, and then as well I would take top tier in water savant, taking awaken elemental weakness cold, cursing enemies to take 15% more damage from cold, which my main hand weapon just happens to do. Uh, but yeah, I'm not that smart. So yeah, that that was almost good. So this would be better off as a ranger. So a bard with two levels of ranger? Because two levels of ranger would give me the feats I need. That would give me rapid shot for free. Mm. And I could get dexed hit and damage with a finessable weapon. Oh my god. I'm not very smart. Okay, so this build doesn't work at all. But anyway, the the goal was then I would have elemental weakness cold, so I could hit them for fifteen percent more damage. So this that will still work absolutely, but this would have to be a strength based build for this to work. And I would use, I would probably take a strength based swashbuckler. What the hell, man? Did you do that? 
you need the dex requirement, but would you need the charisma? Well, you basically just dump the charisma, so then your spells would be basically useless. So the Water Savant, you'd be taking 5 level Sorcerer, or 6 level Sorcerer for 15% increased damage to single target. So you wouldn't really want to do that anymore, so you'd just be strength based. Because the DCs to the school don't really help. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just going to like letting my brain run its course as it goes through and tries to figure out exactly what to do. Um... Damn. Well, that blows. Can't you get a heart since you're on Lemania and try again? You bet I can. Okay, so then what would what would we do different? So would the snowball build have to be strength based? Like would you do more fighter levels? This is useful to be watching, because like I'm thinking about it like So this is this is kinda where my mind goes, right? So the only way I can get dexter damage with this weapon is if I used um Ranger, which would let me do that. Two levels of Ranger would let me do that. Or I could just go Strength Based. And if I went Strength Based, I could do it as a fighter. Um, alternatively, and if I was Strength Based, I could also get Rage from, Scaldic Rage from War Chanter, which would not be bad. Then I wouldn't take any Sorcerer at all, and I would pretty much dump Charisma. And Charisma would not be the most important stat on this character. In fact, Charisma would be like one of the least important stats on this character. Uh, and then if I wanted to, I could also Splash Barbarian. Oh, God. Yeah, so I think I think the sorcerer was a bad idea. Ugh. So then I could go fighter, strength based. Or I could skip strength. I can't skip I basically the the, the reason I want to go dex based is because I can't skip dexterity, right? Dexterity always has to be high enough to take improved precise shot, or else I can't shoot through targets. And because this weapon has a stupid arc, the arc is always gonna is always going to happen. Um, oh, okay, so I think we have to be dex based, which means two levels of ranger should work. Yeah, exactly. This is this is like watching my brain unwind. Um, so I think the the answer is because you you could build this as a strength based character, hitting the dexterity requirement of nineteen. You only have to do the dexterity requirement of nineteen after you have eleven base attack bonus, which is at level fifteen. Um, which means that I have plus four, so I can start with a 15 dexterity and have most of my points in strength, and I could have a strength-based build. Being a strength-based build, I would have to take the feat Brutal Throw to get strength to attack. Um, being a dex-based build, I would have to take two levels of ranger. If I don't want to take two levels of ranger, I can just go strength-based, uh, which means I can also get the extra stats here from Scaldic Rage, um, and I can just take two levels of fighter and go the rest of it bard. But I really want to be more bard, or do I really only want to have like six levels of bard for throwing and actually potentially go mostly fighter? Because um, bard doesn't really get me anything, except for Dashing Scoundrel, which is great here, but then the rest of it, I basically go tier three in bard, so what if I only did like three levels in bard, and maybe I did the rest in fighter? Or maybe I did barbarian? Oh, now that's a, that's a dangerous question. So what if it was mostly a fighter and not really a bard? And I was strength based, and it was about killing people, and the dex and the charisma didn't really matter, because I really only need this part right here. Um, in fact, was it the wind at my back, which is plus enhancement bonus for bard bard levels? That's really not that good of an effect. Um. Wow, okay. And swashbuckling style 2 is slap in the face, which is a melee, which doesn't matter. Um, and I wouldn't, so then I could dump charisma. Have you seen the game Grim Dawn? I've seen it. It's old. Oh my god. Okay. So I think round 2 is going to have to be a strength based build. And it would be like 3 bard with some fighter. And you'd want the extra feats. So you'd want to be a human or a purple dragonite, but I really don't want to be a purple dragonite because they're horribly ugly. My brain hurts. But the fighter Kensei tree doesn't synergize well with this because swashbuckling already gives the threat multiplier and this Kensei doesn't stack. Um, so the th range or multiplier won't stack of the Kensei tree. But this raw damage does stack. Is the raw damage good enough? Well, you get the fighter feats. What's the benefit of being a bard? I get to heal myself, right? Yeah, that's true. And I also get access to the self-healing from here, sustaining song. What if I was playing, like, Barbarian mostly? So, like, a thrower Barbarian build? Mm, my god, my brain hurts. Uh, a frenzied Berserker with the extra strength? 
but that doesn't apply on ranged attacks, it only applies on melee attacks. Okay, so I think round two, I think I, round two we're going to try strength based. Whoa! Dancing dragons, look at that. Paladin, sorcerer, warlock, what a build. <coughs> what a time to be alive. Cleric, sorcerer, favorite soul. What a time to be alive. Alright, so we'll, we'll try this again. So now you should notice is the it still has that it still has kind of an arc, but it's not nearly as pronounced when you're throwing it a range. And that hits hard, nice. And I also stack up vulnerability, right? I'm essentially just testing the range on this build. Damn, that sucks. So it has that silly arc, which I find interesting. I don't know why this weapon arcs. It just does arc. <laughs> it's just kind of dumb. Uh, okay, so strength build it is, so it has to be strength based. And so you do mostly fighter at that point. Okay. Uh, so let me just get some fighter levels. Advanced next level is fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna restart this. We gotta, we gotta take this round too. So pretty much, I'm devoting this entire, this entire stream to like, making a build. Which is like something I don't do that often, but we're we're just doing it because why not? You because the little bit of bard that I do have, um, in fact, if I really wanted to, I could save that little bit of bard for later. I could take those levels of bard like way down the road, and by taking those levels of bard way down the road. No, it's not going to be charisma based. By taking the bard levels way down the road, it means I can actually focus most of my points on this magic device. Okay, so, mmm. You know what? Bard past life isn't really going to do me any good. So, we're going to be exciting and we're going to do something no one's ever done before. Stupid snowball. Build. Piece of crap. I'm going to talk to this dude. Give me. So, he just gave me like 10,000 turbine points or something. I think. We're going to type in blood. Uh, heroic True Heart of Blood doesn't have an image. Gimme! It's 1500 turbine points apparently. There we go. So now I have this, a True Heart of Blood. So I'm going to give the True Heart of Blood brand new item for a racial reincarnation. Ooh! Give me that Drow Elf Past Life. So Drow Elf Past Life is going to give me plus two in the search skill. Sounds good. S what is this called? Snowball build? Snow build? Yeah, snow build. Confirm. Alright, time to do it. Let's go. Round two. Snow build. So I'm like, ah, the snow build. I'm like, trying to figure out where what this is supposed to be. Where do you, ugh, where do you come up with good ideas and how do you put your ideas on paper and making them actually come out and make a good character. And that's why. That's why. I like sometimes my creative builds, they they get hampered sometimes because I have to do a lot of this. I don't usually do this on Lamania though. I usually do this like by hand. So, All right, snow build. I can't name this character Snow Build V2 though, which is disappointing. Alright, so strength based fighter. Do we multi class anything else? Does anything else give a benefit? Or would you go 3 bard 17 fighter? There's no reason to go 3 bard 17 fighter, so would you take 4 levels of bard? You've got basically 1 level to do anything you want with. You'd never go 4 levels of bard. So I think we're gonna start fighter. I think that's just easy. We're starting fighter. And the, the real question is race. So I need to have my dexterity at a 14. Because the, the fact that the character kicks in at level 14. So I needed my dexterity at a 14. Or a, mm, wait, I need 19, so 15. I need 15 dexterity. So human gives the extra feet, which is really good. Um. Dragonborn has a minus on dexterity, so that just doesn't work, even though it gives the bonus in strength. It's not really worth it. So human is kind of be the where we're going to go with this one, I think. It's going to give us the most stats. Um, or the stats that make it work the easiest, so we can make sure we get all of the feats in that we need. Uh, but I don't need any of the metamagic feats now, because I am not doing anything else, so I'll have an extra wealth of fighter feats. So I honestly don't think I need the extra feat, so I could probably play something that's stat-focused. So I don't want to play anything that's going to lose me a lot of stats that I need. Um, so half orc would be terrible. No one loses strength. Warforged could work, but I don't really get the ability to heal myself that easy. 
Um, so it would, would be interesting. Elf? Elf is minus on constitution. I think just for the purposes of, even though I may not need the extra feet, I think human is going to give me the best bang for my buck overall. Just getting a 15, const 15 dexterity would cost me too much. Warlock for the on hit damage. Yeah, but I can only take one level. That's the thing. What armor type am I going to use? Uh, you have, to, I believe it's light armor to swashbuckle. Up off so you can access to Arcane Archer Tree if required. Arcane Archer doesn't really work with thrown weapons the same way it does with other things. Uh, half elves are terrible. Although they did just get a huge buff, but look how ugly their faces are. Ugh. I hate them. Dragonborn? Dragon build? Alright, we're gonna do a Dragonborn snowball build, just because we can. Apparently, I can only be a female. Interesting. So when you racially reincarnate, you cannot change your you cannot change whether you're a male or a female. <laughs> Which is interesting. Um All right, fine, whatever. All right. Apparently, it also doesn't give me extra stat points. Hmm. That's disappointing. All right. So I need a 15 dexterity. Um, 18 strength. I don't need charisma for anything. Constitution is pretty good. Intelligence. Uh, yeah. This is fine. Yeah, but I'm really going to spend a lot of points in the half-elf tree. That's the difficult thing. Okay, so I guess this is fine. I get a lot of strength. I'm a dragonborn. Uh, intimidate, swim, and jump are clearly the skills that I want to use on a character like this. Uh, I get an Ancestry, which is kind of neat. So I think, because it's a snowball build, we have to take white. Um, then I get all my feats. So this, I'm going to be able to pile on the feats here. So we're going to get point blank shot for sure. Uh, precise shot for sure. Oh, baby, all the feats. So snow build V2. Give it the old randomize. Ooh, looking good. Go. No, I'm lawful good! No, I'm not supposed to be lawful good. Oh no. I picked the wrong alignment. <laughs> oh, Dragonborn base stats are plus two strength and plus two charisma. Crap. You find yourself I am so bad at this game. Alright, it's okay. <laughs> you can, you can fix this with turbine po or DDO points. Alignment. Alignment change. Chaotic goodness. Give me, give me oh, one of these. Oi, you ain't undead, are you? There it is. This radiant green and gold leaf gives off an aura of freedom and goodness. Let me just, let me just fix this. Can you oh move? my god. I agree. Time for a drink. Drink up, everybody. <laughs> oh man. My new alignment's got a good. Well, good. Speak to me. All my items are still equipped. Hmm. They're all level one items, so I guess that's fine. Anything that wasn't level one got de-equipped. Oh. Fuck! I typed in the wrong shit again. Oh my god! I'm so bad at this. Okay. Yes. Get me past the storyline. Give me uh, one of these. If you're having a great time and you're like, man, Shrimp Tom, you're hilarious because you're bad at this. Uh, and you're like, oh, Stepping God, how can I how can I try to watch you and spend village. time with you more often? Did you know that I don't just stream here on the DDO stream every single Tuesday? But you can Judging actually catch me now, on Twitch TV slash Shrimp Tom any time that I have to be streaming on a personal channel. For help to Good. I really like this running animation, though. You can see it a lot better when I'm actually just running through town. It's really sick. Uh, no, they have minus minus two dexterity, so that's why the dexterity was hard to get all the way up to here. Ugh, I'm so slow. There we go. Gonna roll me. Ain't the sharpest tool. Hey, it's Legolas the Rich, the Bard. Ooh, bards. I've been seeing a lot of bards. I think a war chanter could actually be very interesting. I don't think it's good, but I think it's interesting. I think the idea of playing as a war chanter is, is pretty cool. I kind of want to play as a pure war chanter as a dragonborn. 
nothing left to live for fun. Ugh. Love the clawing animation though. Isn't that sick? Where you like swiping at the air? The ancestry. So, uh, you pick a Draconic Heritage feat. Every single person, every single Dragonborn gets one. Draconic Heritage gives you uh, energy resistance equal to your character level of your element. So, because I'm a white, I get cold resistance equal to my level. And as well, I get to, uh, in the Dragonborn Enhancement Tree, I get all of the things are white related. So. I am a white Dragonborn. Hey, look, it's a dad. It's a quality name. All right, let's go. Give me some of this. Oh, there's too many people here. Let's go to test Jojo number two. There's way too many people right over there. So we're going to get out of that. And we're going to keep going. See, so here we go. Much much cleaner, much easier. Did they get increased in armor damage due to claws? No. No, 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 no. That's crazy talk. There we go. Give me that ship buff. All right, let's try this again. Okay. So, fighter. Right. Advanced next level is fighter. I don't have experience. Yeah, I know. Give me the guide. Here we go. Apparently it doesn't make it doesn't cost more XP to level up by doing heroic or racial reincarnations. This may mean if you're just brand new and starting out, if you have if you still have a first life character, do you if this comes out like this, do your racials first. Uh, okay, I want quick draw, and I need rapid shot as well. Next level as fighter. Oh, an extra skill point. Intimidate. Yeah. Get a spare some change for gas. Uh, precision and rapid shot are both good. Just talking what's the deal with the racials? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm going to keep explaining Dragonborn, aren't I? I mean, I guess it's okay. That's kind of why I'm playing this game right now. Well, the is not com coming. Oh, uh, yeah. So, racials, Dragonborns. Uh, they're pretty cool. They get plus two to their charisma. They get plus two to their strength. They have a minus two to their dexterity, which is actually completely fine. Minus two on dexterity is one of the least penalizing things because, yes, it gives you a little bit of reduction to armor class and your reflex saves for most people. That doesn't matter in the slightest. So I wouldn't worry about it at all if you were planning on playing a Dragonborn. Sure, it makes it more difficult to play monks or rogues, but for pretty much every other character in the game, you don't really care about it. You don't even notice. I forgot, almost forgot to take Brutal Throw. That's one's really important. Um, but now I'm also going to be taking Weapon Focus Ranged. Weapon Focus Throne. Sorry, not Ranged. Throne. We can take Weapon Specialization and all that stuff. Next level is Fighter. Mm -mm -mm. Level is Fighter. Um, but then they also get the ability to take a Draconic Heritage Treat, which gives them allows them to pick a color. They get all sorts of cool stuff related to their color. So they get like, um, they get uh, energy resistance. And they also get access to breath weapons and empowering the spells of that color. So it's really, really synergistic with, um, can't take improved. Yeah, I can't take that feat yet. I'm only level nine. Uh, I don't want power critical. I want uh, weapon specialization. Yeah, that's what I want. Hey, what's going on, Nobob? How are you? We're testing out both Dragonborn and also the Snowball build, which I've only screwed up twice so far by picking the wrong uh, alignment and then also by making a build that doesn't work because I can't read properly. Because reading is a challenge, and I want to make sure that every single person that's watching this don't don't slack on your reading comprehension skills because I did and I paid the ultimate price of having a build that I had to restart. Could you imagine if I was actually like playing this build? Like holy crap. Um, Dragonborn are amazing. That's the druid trainer. He's a rat. It's pretty cool man. If you've never been on Lemania, I highly recommend it. Give it a shot. Um, I've submitted a bunch of bug reports already. So, for the record, this is the most important thing. If you are playing on Lemania, Lemania is not just a place where you can test out cool builds, which is what I'm doing right now. It's also a place to test out things with different character classes. The Dragonborn are amazing. They look amazing. They have all sorts of cool... Um, greater weapon specialization. Give me that damage. Uh, they have cool animations and everything else, but some of their animations don't work properly, so it's important to make sure that you bug report things that you find so that they can get fixed and prove precise shot. I don't have a dex 19 because I have to take a level 15. Damn. Uh, insightful reflexes. I don't want that. Power critical, damage, damage. 
Dodge seems pretty good, actually. I think we're going to take Dodge. Dodge seems pretty good. Dodge or, like, Toughness, but I think we're going to take Dodge. Dodge seems fun. Cool. So, we are 15, 12 levels of Fighter. Now we're going to take the Bard, which is the one of the more E components of this. Need to do some polish on them? Well, you know what? Maybe we'll just take the Bard in to the dungeons. We'll make the, we've got the Snowball build right here. I'm going to be putting all of my points right now into um, Use Magic Device. Every single point is going to go into UMD. I don't really care about Perform. Um, I do need to have some points in it, but... Folk. Next. Advanced next level is Bard. Important to make sure we have as much use magic device as possible. By doing, by saving the Bard levels till later, it allows me to get more use magic device. This is how you can kind of maximize your skills. Always think about what skills you can take at different levels, so that way you can absolutely maximize it and make sure you're getting the best out of your skill points. So by waiting to take my Bard levels until later, instead of taking them at the beginning, I've managed to max out my use magic device, put some points into Perform, so I can actually use my Bard songs, and then we are good to go. Um, beat here. I want to take improved precise shot. Yeah, we'll we'll yeah we'll take a look at some of the new dungeons. I'm pretty sure I can solo them. So, can I slash dance for us and slash dance too? Also, hey, what's up? How you doing? I haven't talked to you in so long. This is has been recently hired back to continue working at Standing Stone Games, which is really cool. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll dance as we talk about this. So for all of those of you that missed it that weren't here at 7 p.m. when I actually started the stream and uh, was kind of describing the Dragonborn, Dragonborn are absolutely fantastic. Other than the fact that I'm completely naked uh, and looking completely fabulous while I do it, they have a lot of very good stats. Um, they're st so their stats are strength and charisma. Their looks are unbelievably good. They do have a minus on dexterity, but that affects almost zero builds um, that you would potentially play as a Dragonborn. The only ones that really get affected are high dex builds, but the only high dex build that currently exists is as a crossbow build. And if you're playing as a crossbow build, you're highly likely to play Shader Kai instead. So for endgame viability, realistically, there is going to be a single build that will be negatively impacted by Dragonborn. The builds you'll see Dragonborns playing are all going to range around Paladin, Bard, uh, Fighter, anything that can get, make access access to that extra strength for a minus in dex. Previously, if you wanted to get the bonus in strength, you'd have to take a half work, which gives you ridiculous minuses on charisma and intelligence. This one gives you bonus on charisma and strength. Really, really strong. Very good. So pretty much every single build that you play with a Dragonborn is going to be endgame viable, so you won't have to worry about that. Like I said, the only dex-based build in the game would be a uh, ranged crossbow user. If you're wondering, well, Strimtom, doesn't your Strimtom's Acid Arrow build use Dexterity? That's right, but that's not an endgame viable build. Endgame viable bow builds, like all the munchers and things like that, they use Strength to damage because you can get your Strength over 100, which you cannot do with Dexterity. So, that's why you see people do ridiculous damage. Um, oh. So, pretty much every build is going to be good with the Dragonborn, which is a lot of fun. As well, they have a really, really interesting and diverse racial tree. If you haven't gotten the chance to take a look at it, it's pretty cool. It's right here. Uh, they get Strength or Charisma going up the tree, as well as bonus to Fortitude saves. They get Life going up the left side, 10 Life, 10 Life, 10 Life. They also have some Healing Amp bumped in. They get a Dragon Breath, a Breath Attack that scales with your character level, uh, and actually does uh, additional, um, what is it, higher DCs based on Charisma, Evocation bonuses, and Breath Weapon bonuses. Your Breath Weapon bonuses encompass right here. You get a bonus to Breath Weapon bo right here, Power and Breath. There's also some brand new items that give Breath Weapons, uh, which is pretty cool. And these Breath Attack DCs also affect Dragon Breath out of Draconic Incarnation. There's some 6 synergy there. The biggest thing you're going to pull out of this Dragon Mercury, the Breath Attack is extremely good and powerful. Arcanum is completely ridiculous. Previously, if you wanted Arcanum, so you wanted to be a really strong DC caster, you'd have to play as an Elf or a Gnome. Now you can also play as a Dragonborn. Picking up that bonus 3 spell penetration is ridiculous. Uh, on top of that, three evocation DCs out of the top of the tree here, which is why I'm planning on playing a Dragonborn Druid for my Reaper run, so I can actually get those Earthquakes to really land. And this one, Draconic Knowledge. Draconic Knowledge increases the maximum cash level of your Draconic Heritage uh, by two. Maximum cash level is something that is very difficult to increase. Sorcerers are basically the only ones that are really good at doing it, and they are extremely good at doing it. Lightning Bolt can reach maximum cash level, I believe, 31. With this, it's going to be bumped up to 33. That is crazy on your Lightning Bolt. So a character like this is going to be very, very happy with... Uh, any kind of source will be extremely happy and probably going to TR into Dragonborn. The loss of a feat sucks, but plus two on cash level is really hard to com combat against. Uh, they also get a thing that allows them to do an air dash, so that's kind of cool. And you want to be able to flex? I can flex, I guess. Hmm? Flash flex. Yeah! Which way is the gun show? Yeah, the bow build does really well with the breath, so 
because you get all the acid damage and the synergy. So now the most important thing about this about any build is make sure you spend your enhancement points properly. Swashbuckler is what I need. I can't use Vanguard at all. Uh, do you have to be in light armor to use Van... Yeah, you need to be in light armor or no armor. You cannot be in armor for swashbuckling. So I'm going to spend my points on the swashbuckling first. I'm going to take blow by blow because it's always good to have an extra ranged attack. This is ranged. Pick up one point here. I'm not going to take fast movement speed because it's really not useful for this character. Uh, so we're going to take the uh, enhancement point for double shot. Um, th this cost two? Wow, that sucks. Damn, that cost two? Damn. Uh, and then I will also be taking up here. I want to have the extra... This ability is bugged. It says it gives you one damage per five character levels. It actually just gives you plus six damage, and it gives you ten double shot. So, pretty sick. Um, then we'll take swashbuckling as well. I'm also going to take the critical damage here. So that's all the points I'm going to be spending in swashbuckler. If I want, I could put more points, but I'm not going to. And then we're going to move into the Kensai tree. Uh, I can't use Stalwart Defender because I'm going to have nothing in my offhand. I won't even have a shield, so I can't get the extra life out of there. I might consider using a Buckler later. Take Druidic Weapons, which is darts, which is what the Snowball counts as. Weapon Specialization. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't need to have Exotic Weapon Mastery. That doesn't matter at all. Extra Action Boost is good. Action Boost Attack Speed is crazy. I love this Action Boost. I'm just, I'm just going to be putting some points in. Um, the big reason for why I'm putting all these points, this is damage. This is faster damage. This is lots of damage. Mostly putting points of damage. This is like dodge or something while wearing light or no armor. Sure. And ascetic training, which I think is reflex saves and dodge cap. So this one's actually extremely good. Might consider taking that. Some more dodge. Do I not have mobility? I don't have mobility. Damn, I suck. Give me one of these. Give me some of these. Uh, give me one of these for strength. Character strength base. Some more damage. 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 Liquid courage is really good for potions. Improved destruction, so I don't need to take improved destruction out of bard. Um... This is a melee attack, so I can't even use that. Power surge. Uh, more damage. Lots of damage. Damage. I have two more points to spend. I'm going to spend my two points on damage. Or on uh, reef, or dodge cap. Pick up some more damage. Plus three hit damage. Deadly strike. You can use this at ranged? Ooh. Damn. Yeah, I'll take that one. That's pretty good. Uh, this is... Range power, so that's damage. Now, Keen Edge, I'm actually not going to take, which sounds ridiculous. Why would you not take Keen Edge? Keen Edge does not stack with Swashbuckling. Swashbuckling is just going to be straight up better. So that's what makes this build why you really want to be playing as a Swashbuckler. Um, and a good death. Executes are one of those things I feel like wouldn't really work that well um, with a Snowball because of the time it takes to actually get to the target, but we'll give it a shot. This is pretty much the points I'm going to be spending here. I'll have to spend more... I can't spend any more points in Kensei, so I'll just save my points for one cut. I don't really need anything else. And I mean... So I have a lot of points to play with. So effectively, I'm spending 54 enhancement points, leaving me with 20-something. I can put points in the Dragonborn tree, which I probably will to get more strength. Points in the Stalwart Defender tree, probably to get more strength, um, if I consider using a shield. Um, and now the most important thing is we equip the Snowball. And we hit people with the Snowball. Do I have anything that I actually need to turn on? Or do I just hit the Snowball? Doesn't really do a lot of damage. Not as much damage as I thought. I really thought it was going to do. Hmm. I'm only plus 19? Is my strength that low? Yeah, that makes sense. 9 plus 5 plus yeah. Wait, no, wait. That doesn't make sense. Using Brutal Throw. Attack mod. Yes. Hmm. Is this not actually using my strength to damage? Wait, does this not use strength to damage? Wait a second. Look at this. It doesn't say strength. It doesn't say damage mod. Strength. It just says attack mod. Does the snowball not use strength to damage? Yeah, I know I have to turn on swashbuckling. Uh, yeah. Turn on. Does the snowball not use strength to damage? Am I reading this right? Wow, that's a 14 to 20 times 3. That is hilarious. No, it's a 13 to 20 times 2. I know, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty high... So I crit a lot with the snowball. Something about this seems wrong. Hmm. Hold on, we'll, see, we'll, we'll tell. That if I use Power Surge, the damage should go up. Power Surge? It doesn't scale with strength either! What is this? Why does this work? Why doesn't my build work? Oh, God. The snowball build, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't want to work, guys. I don't know what to do. I really want to build the best snowball build ever, but apparently it doesn't scale with strength either. Alright. For science, we need to do some tests. 
so I need to put some points in other places. So my intelligence is a lot. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put points in Harper Agent to get intelligence to damage and see if that will actually do it. Oh my god, it doesn't scale with anything. All right, here we go. It should do damage from strength, but here we go. We're gonna do we're gonna do some science, okay? Science, science class. Can we can we fix it? The answer is yes, we can. I'm Bob the Fixer. Yeah, the angles would be good. Okay, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Reset. That's fine. Give me the points back. The points. Cool. So my intelligence is plus three. So. Uh, yeah. So my damage on this is plus 16. Why is my damage plus 16? Why does it keep going up and down? Okay, whatever. Anyway. Strategic combat. Bam. Take that. Okay, now it uses damage mod intelligence. So for science, it has to be intelligence. There's no item you can use. You, you can only use intelligence by using Harper Agent. So this has to be an int build. You're, you're right. It is time for another drink. I apologize. Okay. Just got to pour myself another one. Give me a sec here. Alright. Every time we mess up the build... I'm going to do that. So, ooh. so we need to be intelligence based. So strength doesn't matter at all. Strength is not important. So even if it gets fixed for the update, strength is not important. So to make this build work right now, we need intelligence, which means this build is garbage. Look at this. Fighter, pff, strength. <laughs> you know what this sounds like, guys? Another reincarnation. We will get the snowball build, and I promise you, not only when we have the snowball... I want to see how it arcs, though. Hold on. Where's improved precise shot? I want to see how the arc works with the kobolds. No, stop killing the kobolds, you bastard. Oh, the game froze. I'm just trying to test the arc. Okay, how does this work? Is this hitting him? Okay, so the goofy arc makes us that it doesn't really go that well. Alright, that's weird. The viewer count? Strength does do it, someone said. Strength doesn't work. It doesn't work. I, I'm, I've just tested it. So, or do we actually have a lot of viewers? I haven't been looking. I've just been drinking alcohol. Yeah, man. Alright, so what's the plan here? The plan is we have to do another reincarnation. we got to make an intelligence build because it has to scale with intelligence. So, intelligence. Intelligence, eh? So the real question is, how do we make intelligence work with a character like this? Clearly, we're still going to be swashbuckling. We may or may not actually need to take any levels in Fighter. So instead of taking levels in Fighter, we could use another class. What would be a good class that would scale with intelligence? Do I drink if my build doesn't work at IRL? Well, yeah, that's that's usually how I, how I handle most of the things in my life. Yeah, so I think what we're going to do is... It is a bug. It's absolutely a bug. Um, okay. So Rogue would be a good candidate for something that would scale off of intelligence. So would Artificer. Like an Artificer Bard, a Bardificer, who uses a snowball, and he can enchant his weapon. Oh, you can have deadly weapons! Ooh. So, if you did, if you did that, really, you wouldn't, realistically, you're still, you wouldn't, do you really even want to take the top tier Swashbuckler? I guess you would. So you'd take maybe a Swashbuckler... And then maybe like rogue, like twelve swashbuckler, three rogue, and then you get evasion, and then you use the snowball, and then you play as a drow. I love it. Good, good call. Okay, good. We got build, build number three. Uh, pallet fighter trainer. Okay, here we go. So we'll do bard, rogue, which is intelligence based, but then you don't have dexterity, or you don't have charisma. Yeah, I don't know. I think Rogue is just has to be the best choice at this point. But would you want to put more points in Rogue so you get sneak attack damage? Because you can sneak attack? I don't want to spend action points. Like, what is, would sneak attack be better? This is a real question. Because sneak attack could actually be a little bit better. Uh, let's just keep leveling up. I'm just going to take random feats, but... 
Try surge again, but open and close the inventory while it's active and check the numbers. No, it it I did. It, the surge didn't work at all. But the real question is, would I want to go? May, maybe I would want to go mostly rogue, like twelve rogue and three bard, so I get the sneak attack. That seems pretty good because rogues get the sneak attack, and sneak attack damage would be pretty much better than whatever bard can give you, because it would give you the extra damage. You get the SA on everything you hit on pass through with your improved slay shot. Uh, yes, you do. Sneak, you get any, a sneak attack on anything that doesn't know you're already there. So we'll just do a heroic true reincarnation, as opposed to another racial reincarnation, which didn't work at all. <laughs> which didn't work at all. Damn it! Reincarnation timer. Hold on. Give me that reincarnation timer reset. There we go. Thank you. Uh, what's this snow build? All right, round three. Uh, racial Reincarnation gives you... There's three levels of Racial Reincarnation. The first level gives you plus two on a skill based on your race. The second set gives you plus one on a core stat based on your race. And the third gives you one Racial Enhancement Point, which you can see on the, the Enhancement Point tree as to how many Racials you have. Racial Enhancement Points can you can spend only in the Racial tree, and they last forever, which is kind of cool. So with ten races, that gives you access to ten Racial Enhancement Points after thirty past lives. Sounds like a lot of pass lives, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, a snow build. Alright. So strength doesn't matter. And rogue. Good. Is that a rogue or artificer? I think rogue is going to give more mileage than artificer. Because you don't need strength, you can play as gnome. Or human. You need the feats, so I think human's going to have to be the best one. Oh, I can change! Uh, just so you know, if you currently racial reincarnation has a lot of bugs with it, one of the ones is that you can't change your uh, can't change your sex, which is interesting. Do they increase XP as level as a TR? Well, the one I just did gave me no past life, so I think it's not currently working, uh, and it also didn't increase the XP. It is supposed to function identical to a heroic reincarnation, with the exception that it gives you a racial past life instead of a heroic past life. Okay, strength is zero. Dex needs to be. Uh, 15. That's it. Uh, intelligence needs to be maxed. Charisma needs to be, or constitution needs to be lots. Uh, charisma? For bard stuff? I'm only taking like three levels of bard, so honestly I don't even care about charisma, so whatever, it's fine. This seems fine. I'm playing rogue, so deploy, disable, and search, and spot. Use MD, and tumble, and swim. Open lock and repair. God, leveling this is going to be such a pain. I hate leveling rogues. This one, and this one, and this one, and I don't know, this one. Dump. Great. And I get a feat and a human bonus feat. So we're going to be taking point blank shot. Point blank shot. There we go. And precise shot. And rapid shot. Rapid shot. Nice. Alright, we need to give the old randomize real quick. Cool, and that would make the hair white as hell. The hair color, white, white. There we go, because it's a snow build. Lawful good. No, not lawful good. I hate that default. We need Bard. Ah, oh, chaotic good. Do you know if there's going to be an in-game source for blood hearts? Yes, there is. It's the exact same way you get regular hearts of wood. As a rogue, you start a Shader Kai. Yeah, but then I get bonus. Then I get a minus on charisma, and I don't want that. All right. And I don't get the bonus feat. Skip the Corthos storyline. Thank you. Items. I don't want items. I want the snowball. God damn it. Just tuned in. What build are we trying? We're trying to build a snowball build. Turns out there's a lot of weird bugs that stop me from doing that. Um, the first weird bug is that apparently I can't read. And different tack, the washbuckler ability, which allows you to use charisma, intelligence, or dexterity to hit and damage, uh, only works if you're single weapon fighting, which means you have to have a melee weapon in your hand. I didn't realize it wouldn't work if you had a ranged weapon in your hand, which is odd. So that I was originally going to use charisma to hit and damage with a dart, and that didn't work at all with the snowball. So that's great. So then we tried it again, and we tried to do it as a fighter using strength, but it turns out the snowball doesn't actually register strength, doesn't register anything as an attack mod, so the only way to get damage is to use the Harper Agent tree to get Strategic Combatant. Um, yeah. 
So it's confusing. I don't know if I actually want anything out of the rogue trees. Like, the sharpshooter doesn't work. Oh wait, no it does! Sharpshooter actually works with thrown weapons. So the mechanics tree actually works with thrown weapons? Proficiency with great crossbows. Uh, yeah. You use intelligence matter for damage to all crossbows and thrown weapons. Oh, cool! So I can actually, I don't even have to put many points in the harper tree. I can actually just do it as a rogue. Because you get intelligence to damage from targeting sites. Interesting. Okay, cool. 30 racialized access arcane archer with any class for one low cost of 4 AP? Uh, yep. Exactly. That's what I'm telling you. Alright, come on, let's go. Uh. Oh crap, I'm in the wrong one. Test Dojo 1. No! Because there's devs over here. So t all the devs are in Test Dojo 1. They're doing like an event. So there's Cookie Kobold, Coco Majobo. Uh, if, you, if you're on Lemania, you can type slash join channel dev chat. Join them. But I'm streaming and I'm narcissistic and I want people to pay attention to me. So I'm going to avoid this, this by going to Test Dojo number 2 and actually doing my reincarnating and stuff. I'm going to quickly walk over to the dude over here. This is one of my favorite additions. It is the captain who gives out guild buffs and stuff. I love that. Gives out guild buffs and stuff. It's just, it's just guild buffs and whatever. It's fine. This is cool. It's just whatever. All right. <sighs> what was I doing? Rogue? We go over here and talk to this guy, the guide. Give me ultimate mastery. Damn it. It doesn't work. Rogue trainer. You're saying a mirror above your PC? Why would I do that? What benefit do I get from hanging a mirror above my computer? Is it so the mirror can follow my computer and break it? My precious, precious computer? That would be really bad. That would make me very upset. <laughs> if, if a mirror fell on my computer. I would probably flip out and lose my mind. It actually doesn't really matter when I take these levels, eh? Yeah, so I don't think it actually matters when I take my levels. So I think I'm just going to get my bard levels out of the way. Uh, oh, I can take past life fighter. Oh shit! Plus one max dex bonus for armor and shields. No thanks. That's whatever. I get a feat. So we will. I have point blank shot. Do I have rapid or quick draw? No, I don't. I still need quick draw, precise shot. I need so many feats. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take my bard levels right away, so I don't forget about them. Because I will. I will forget about them. Next level is bard. Yes, I would like to multi class. Yes, my charisma is not high enough level. Intelligence. Thank you. And what feats do I want? I want to take perform. And I want to take swim. Spellcraft? No, that's useless. I don't know. Yeah, rogue gets all the same things. So like, I don't know, haggle, diplomacy, bluff. You gotta have haggle. I'm gonna take extra dishes to treat because I'm only gonna have a few levels of bard, so I might as well make sure I have the right abilities. What? No completionist? That's right. I'm not reincarnating my completionist. That would be a good idea. That'd be a smart idea. Okay. Uh, balance. This character doesn't actually have to be good. We're just trying to make a character that Snowball builds strong enough to test out the new quests. Kind of the goal here. So because the Snowball doesn't actually interact with anything else for some reason I don't understand. Um, focusing chant, give me that shit. Because the, the Snowball doesn't really work properly, um, we have to make some compensate or some concessions. Is that the word? Compromises? Uh, compromises to the build overall. Which is disappointing. I don't like making compromises because I don't like sharing or like having anyone being satisfied except for me. Um, I'm such a great boyfriend. But anyway, uh, what feats do I need here? Do do. I don't want extend spell. That's not going to be helpful. Uh, precise shot. That sounds good. Precise shot, precision, all that stuff. Where folks blessings a really good spell, so I'm just going to take that. So you can look at yourself. I don't, why would I want to look at myself, man? Oh, because I'm narcissistic. That's why. I need that. Ah. <laughs> this is probably drinking alcohol while streaming. I'm trying to do, like, this on the screen, and I'm like, my brain is, like, not ready for your guys' wit and humor. Uncanny dodge. Oh, yeah. So the goal here is we should be able to use intelligence to hit and damage. Hopefully with this snowball, and this will be the final incarnation. I don't know if I'll actually be able to do the quests. This That is a totally different story. But you better believe we're going to get a whole host of people to help us with this. 
Uh, swim. Uh, use my device. Humble, swim. Oh my god, spot. I need this. I don't know the traps are in the new quest. I think we need to drink to get on his level. Please do. Don't don't leave me alone like this. It can't be the only one. Hmm. God, that is some strong Pepsi. Pretty much every single thing on my desk is alcoholic right now. Except, um, so I was at the grocery store, and I bought um, some Yop. And if you don't know what Yop is, then you need to, like, watch commercials from the eight, then the early or the late 90s. Anyway, there's, like, this, this Yop. It's this, like, yogurt beverage that you can, like, drink. It's really good, I think. I don't really know. Anyway, I have it in my fridge because apparently you can buy them in one liter containers. I didn't know that. They usually only come in these, like, little, like, small bottles or whatever. I used to get them when I was, like, a kid at the store because it was, like, it was, like... 30 cents or whatever, and you get one of these little bottles, and it's just a little yogurt thing. Anyway, I became an adult, and apparently they have them in one liter bottles at the store, and I saw this like a week ago, and I was like, oh my god, I don't know why, but I need to have this in my life. So I bought it, and now I have like a liter of Yop in the fridge, and I don't, I don't need this, a liter of yogurt to, that's drinkable. I don't, I don't know why anyone would ever want that, and under any circumstances, at the point I have it. But I don't put alcohol in that, because that just seems like a bad idea. I don't need to curdle my yogurt before I drink it. Ugh. Sounds unpleasant. So I'm really itchy for some reason. I think I've got fleas. It's also this beard. I'm growing, like, facial hair, and I'm telling you one thing. I don't know if you guys out there have facial hair. I don't know how you do it. It is the absolute worst experience I've ever had in my life. It's just so terrible. Like, ugh. So itchy. But I probably have fleas, but, like... Intelligence. Does my guy get smarter? I, God, I don't. I feel like I'm never gonna be able to stop spending skill points and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hopefully, at some point soon, we'll be able to actually test out the snowball build. I don't know how this character. Like, I don't know how this character is really gonna heal itself or keep itself alive. That is something I'm not really thinking about right now. That is a problem for like future me. Hey, what's going on? Vigiation. Gans. I don't know. I'm just going to say what I think I think. Oh, man. This is like the most fun part of the stream, eh? You guys are having fun? Good. Good and glad you guys are. I'm not playing a Dragonborn right now, which I really should be. I could talk more about them. I think that the Dragonborn coming out is really great because the actual race is very, very well balanced. When you look at some of the detail. Did I not get one of these at level 10? I thought you got this at level 10. Huh. Division. Double strike, fuck that. Evasive rules, sounds terrible. Tripling strike, sounds great. Improved evasion, thanks. Slip through mine's also really good, but... Hey, what's going on RD2, RT, RD2 play? It's ready to play! Oh my god, I can't believe I just figured that out right now. And that's, that's while I'm drinking, so I'm impressed with me. Um, but yeah, I think the Dragonborn are a good addition overall. The racial abilities are not overpowered. They are strong, right? I'm not going to deny that they aren't strong, but you have to also consider raw stats don't mean everything. Raw stats are important when you're considering build making with a, when you're talking about hitting re raw requirements. But something I've been learning from playing a lot of Reaper difficulty that I've been very entertained with and very happy about is the fact that a lot of these different characters, specifically if you look at Drow, I've started to like Drow a lot more because of their inherent spell resistance. Spell resistance is so strong because it allows you to effectively avoid mechanics. It's like, man, I have a really low will save, but my spell resistance is like 70. So, uh, I don't need to care about, like, will saves because I'm going to actually avoid all mechanics involving will saves. Um, improve precise shot, just like so. <sighs> Took me a while to figure that one out, but I did it. Get to go and scratch my mess, scratch your beard like a scruffy dog. <laughs> No, I'm not like that. Alright, so the goal here... The game is like lagging like crazy. TR cash, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Ring of water breathing, I don't want any of these items, but I do want... The returning snowball. Oh, baby. Alright. So we have the snowball equipped. Doesn't benefit off of anything. And the game is like freezing. go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the entire game just froze. 
How do you get 70? Um, because any insightful bonus spell resistance will stack with your racial. So, all right. So assassin's probably important. Thief Act bad. I don't need this garbage. And swashbuckler, I need. All right. So we'll start with swashbuckler. This is the most important one. Swashbuckle, blah, 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 blah. Take blow by blow range. So I have a ranged attack. Take this. I want to make sure I get this here. So we'll take uh, the double sh shot. Swashbuckling style, open hand style. Great. Perfect. Harper Agent. Intelligence to hit. Perfect. Mechanic Rogue. Intelligence to damage. What is this? Last range shot? Great crossbow? I don't use that. Uh, so listen, search, and spot. That's kind of important. Maybe? I don't know. Tanglefoot? Sure. I have to get that to get the next core. Uh, core. There we go. So yeah, is this? Is there anything good here? This is returning ammunition and range power, so this is good. Is the top tier mechanic rogue actually good for this class? I get rapid fire, so I get double shot, which is good. I get sniper, which is plus one sneak attack die. Non-repeating crossbows, and great crossbows, vorpal and whatever. So, I mean, it's not that much sneak attack damage, which is kind of disappointing. And you get range, 10% ranged alacrity. I only have 35 enhancement points left to spend. So I could take the top tier of Assassin, but this is melee, 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 and melee. So Assassin's really not where I want to be, right right here with this build. So I think Mechanic Rogue is really good. So I think we're going to have to put our points in just to pick up the extra like range power and stuff. Plus it also gives intelligence, so we'll pick up the intelligence as well. Unfortunately, you're unable to use like the death attacks with the snowball, which would be pretty cool, but you can't do that. Really, I think that Standing Stone game should get on this, but we could do that, because that would be awesome, but apparently not. Plus one hit and damage, and an extra sticking with bow, bows, crosses, and thrown weapons. Beautiful. So this is going to amp up my thrown weapons like crazy. Uh, apparently, I get Ammunition gets 80% extra chance to return, but it makes me wonder if I can have over 100% returning chance, so like my ammo just like fills, so I get more returning snowballs. Mine has a mythic bonus, so that would be pretty cool if I could just get more snowballs. Uh, do I need anything else garbage? I don't know. I think I'm the only person playing a snowball rogue, so. Plus three to hit and damage, an additional three damage, and a sneak attack die while not repeating. So this is essentially the same. Um, take sniper, take this. Is this good? Time bomb? I don't know. This is three points for 10% double shot, so I'll just take that. That's pretty good. Cool. Uh, did I put any points in assassin? Assassin doesn't really give anything good, eh? It's just sneak attacks and melee stuff. Not like it's a bad thing, it's just sneak attacks and melee stuff. I think I could actually get more mileage out of like Harper Agent. Like here's plus one damage, hit hit and damage, that'll be always be good. And then three points to know the angles is always good. And then next extra two point, point of intelligence is always good. So perfect. I got a decent amount of chunk of mana, I have my snowball build, and I now have intelligence to hit and damage with the snowball. Perfect. The real question is, is the damage actually good? I'm going to say maybe. I have no idea if the damage is good or not. We're going to have to find out. Okay. Swashbuckling. Let's turn that on. Anglefoot? Oh, it's based on intelligence, so let's take that. Near the angles. Clearly, that's good. I should equip some items. Items would be good. Let's, let's slot some items in this character. Blow by blow. Uh, put open lock over here. Uh, open lock. Search. Search is pretty good. Bluff is pretty good. Do I need defense or trip or whatever, sneak or diplomacy or something? I should read you guys' chat. When I, does, does it show in the character sheet? I don't play them? Uh, yes, spell resistance shows in the character sheet. It's right here. SSG Snowball game is on fleek when it freezes the game. That's true. Is Snowball just on Lemania? No, it's 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 from Tower of Frost. You can get it. Snowball is also interesting because it has a stupid arc. So check it out. I throw the Snowball straight and it doesn't hit the target because it arcs. So you have to like learn how to play with the Snowball. Um, what do we do here? I need to get some items equipped. So I'm just going to quickly click this cabinet, which is going to give me all the new items from the new quest. I'm going to equip it real quick. Equip it. Equip it good. Is there any items I can actually equip? There's a robe. Sounds great. That actually looks pretty good. I like it. Not light armor, though, so that kind of blows. Uh, lizard folk gloves of accuracy. Sounds good. A belt. Perfect. Uh, there's a 
cloak. There's shoes that I can't use because those are the raid items. There's bracers. Those are pretty good. Uh, those are good. These are even better because dexterity. Stats. Dresser. Oh, there we go. So! Dragonborn and Barker Ports, U35 dropping soon. Exactly. I was testing it out. Because apparently I found a lot of bugs while doing this stream. So. Just what happens, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just find bugs. Where's the guy I can get rid of this garbage at? All these, all these items in my backpack are terrible. So there we go. So now we have the cell uh, at all. Look at all this money I'm about to get. Bam! Get out of my inventory, garbage. Cool. My intelligence still isn't high because I don't have an intelligence item equipped. <laughs> I don't know where to get one. I'm just wondering if any of these like level 12 chests will give me anything I can actually use. Planar, a planar gird? Damn. Spectacular optics? Falcon? Distance? Golden greaves? Search? That's pretty good. I'll take the search. It's fine. Yeah, but nothing's going to give me intelligence, is it? Pearl of Power 10? It's 100 mana. Still no intelligence. Damn. Yeah, U35 is dropping soon, so Snowball is okay. I don't really have a lot of health. I don't know if this build's actually going to deal uh, any damage at all. I'm going to make sure I get all my feats out that I took. So that is Improved Precise Shot. I need to make sure I turn that on as well. Inspire Courage. I can use that to give myself a little bit extra damage. I have a defensive in Uncanny Dodge. Uh, we have... Archer's Focus. We have Precision Stance, which I'm going to make sure is turned on. Good. I'm going to make sure I have my enhancements, my double shot enhancement as well. I don't have any healing effects. So my damage is already a little bit higher, as you can see. Again, not amazing. But it is a little bit higher than previously. I have Quick Draw as well, so it's not bad. Yes, yeah, so the damage is okay. Of course, I'm not actually landing sneak attacks on these guys. So, landing the extra sneak attack is going to give me quite a bit of extra damage. Oh. Gives the Necro 4 items. I don't think there's any intelligence items in Necro 4. So, my damage is actually not that bad. It's actually a lot higher than I thought it was going to be, if I'm being totally honest. Um, but, considering the fact that I have almost nothing and... Barely anything equipped. I'm critting for about 180 damage at level 15. Not amazing, but again, I'm playing at range, right? So this isn't crossbow levels of damage, but it does feel good. I'm gonna sneak over here and see if I can steal an item. Because apparently it's 9 o'clock and I haven't done a single quest, and yet somehow you guys are still watching. It's almost like it says something about, like, kind of the... where some of the interest in this game actually lies. Because for sure, a lot of the, interest in the interesting aspects of this game are, like, the ways you can play it, uh, like the actual quests themselves, but in a lot of ways, just the some of the just the interesting things you can do with your characters and the way you can play is just it's almost like too much sometimes, you know. It's just like oh man, there's so many different ideas and ways you can come up with ideas and um, play your character. Ring of feathers, demonic breastplate, blah blah blah. Vested armor, frozen plate. I'm just hoping there's like one item in here that'll just give me some, some intelligence here. Belt of Strength, which I don't need. Intel Helm of Wisdom. Turian Armor. I don't think I'm going to get an intelligence item. That's fine. Chaos Band is good enough. Yep, I'll find it to me permanently. Ring of the Beholder is plus 11 int. You have a level 15, man. Level 15, I can't use it. Anyway, we're going to pick up uh, just some dragon scale as well. Pick up uh, 100 of these. Thank you. We'll get some dragon scale and we'll try out the new quests. I know Nobob said he wanted to see some people do the actual new quests, see how they go, so we'll do it. Does everyone have his access? Absolutely. If you Google search Dungeons and Dragons Online Lamania or check the DDO forums or do anything like that, you can find the Lemania server. You download the client. It's a special client that allows you to access the server. And then once you've downloaded the client, you can go ahead and give it a shot. 
Yeah, but the Helm of the Blue, Blue Dragon's not on that floor is the issue. Unless it is on the floor, then that would be amazing. Either way, we're up at like 34 intelligence, I think. Damn. So we got we got a fairly large amount of intelligence. I'm at 35 right now. Not bad. Given that I only have a plus four. I'm gonna walk over here. Talk to this dude. Give myself some armor so I can actually like play the game by dragon scale armor. This is one of the new items, fortification, quality sunning, physical sheltering, etc. I just don't think it's that good for this character. Plus I'd rather wear the white dragon scale, considering it's dragonborn. And there we go, we have the snowball build. Apparently iteration like five. 